you've learned more Poi Gunslingers. Now what comes next? Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, sharing with you the love of Poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today, I am sharing with you some more Gunslinger based tricks for those of you who want to get involved in them. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyroterra Light Toys, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all of these amazing businesses and what they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I have down in the description of this video. And special thanks to non-business friends of the channel, Johnny Howard, Lane Wachinski, and Pekka Pekkonen. Thank you so very much for your support for my work and my mission. Doesn't it take a lot of work to learn a new poi trick? I know that it feels like a lot to me frequently and I've been doing it for more than 10 years. And that's why when you get a new trick, there's always that moment of both triumph as well as kind of disappointment because you realize that to get the next one, it's gonna take that much work again. But fear not, I have a solution for you. You see, for most poi tricks, there's several variations that you can do that capitalize on the knowledge that you already have in order to get you some more stuff sooner. It's not exactly a tutorial, it's not exactly a combo, it's what comes next. And this video comes as a request from Haley Brook, who, after my first video on poi gunslingers, asked me for more of them, specifically what can be done with both hands at the same time using those gunslingers. And you know what? I'm happy to oblige. Gunslingers, of course, are just the act of shifting the grip of your poi so that you're manipulating both ends of it from the midpoint of the tether. You can do this both with evenly weighted as well as off-weighted poi. And for my money, it creates some of the coolest poi effects out there right now. And of course, I have a soft spot for gunslingers, so I hope you can excuse me for bumping this one up in the queue because, quite frankly, the possibility of being able to revisit it just seemed like too much fun not to follow up on, you know? So let's dive in and see what happens when we start to use both hands with our gunslingers, shall we? First up, one of those things that you should just get down simply as a matter of fact is the ability to enter gunslingers both with both hands at the same time and also in staggered timings. You can think of these somewhat as the difference between doing this in together time versus split time, but it's also just a good exercise to do to make sure that your hands are capable of processing what happens when both you enter gunslingers at the same time and when you do them in staggered timings. There's all sorts of applications for this, of course, because, you know, there are gunslinger tricks that involve getting into gunslingers at the same time and some that involve getting into them slightly off times, depending upon what the specific trick you're looking for is. I also just think that this looks cool and especially as kind of an exercise to do when you just have a few minutes to spare. You know, this doesn't hurt. All right, so for these next two entries, I'm gonna be featuring the trick that made me wanna learn gunslingers in the first place, and that is the 10 petal gunslinger anti-spin flower that I featured in my last gunslingers what comes next videos. And specifically, we're gonna start off with a hybrid between a gunslinger anti-spin flower and an extension. The beauty of this, of course, is that it looks really cool and it only requires you to have your gunslinger down with one hand at a time. This also means that you can maximize the impact if you've only got it down on one side and you can give your friends something really cool to see in the meantime. Of course, if you really want to get steezy about it, you can also do this going back and forth and switch off which side is doing the gunslinger and which side is doing the extension. I'm a huge fan of this move going back and forth. For some reason, it kind of feels to me like you're doing a cap going back and forth from one side to the other. And of course, it looks cool and it exercises your gunslinger capabilities in both hands. Now, before I share with you my final pick for what comes next once you've learned gunslingers, again, I do have a big favor to ask. If you've come this far, it probably means that you're super duper into poi tricks. And guess what? I make lots of videos that feature those. So if you're enjoying this one, I would strongly suggest that you subscribe to the channel so you know right when I drop a new video and you get to see what all the new tricks that I'm featuring are. And also too, if you have any suggestions for things that I can cover in future installments of what comes next, please let me know down in the comments. It is those suggestions that inform the content that I produce. So keep them coming, please. All right, and for our final pick for what comes next when you learn poi gunslingers. Yep, yeah, I admit this one is a bit steep on the learning curve, but it is really the reason that I learned gunslingers in the first place. We're talking about doing two 10 petal gunslinger flowers in split time opposites. Now, I don't think that I'd seen anybody doing this, but as soon as I realized that gunslinger flowers were a thing, this was the first thing that popped into my mind and the thing that I really wanted to learn once I had it down on both sides of my body. And you know, this may be one of those tricks that I kind of do to death and that's okay, I don't mind thinking about that at all because you know what it's just that cool so follow me down this path 
I challenge you. Cool, so those were my three picks for what comes next once you get down your gunslingers with both hands. This video would not be possible without the kind support of all of these nice folks right here. These are my Flow patrons over on Patreon, and they, along with the people listed down in the description, help to make this video and all the videos on this channel possible. Thank you, one and all, so much for your support. What do you think of these videos? Do you enjoy Poi content? Do you enjoy what comes next? Do you enjoy my flow sessions? Do you enjoy my vlogs? I'm on a mission to try and bring Poi spinning and flow arts to the wider world and help people connect with their brains and their bodies as creative individuals. So help me do it. Head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. You can do that either at the link down in the description or the card that just popped up if you are watching on YouTube. Um, you can get a, access to a whole host of rewards if you head there, and it helps out the channel. So please give that a look. Thank you so much in advance. All right, you know I want there to be more gunslinger heads out there, so hopefully this reaches its intended audience and gets a lot more people playing around with these flowers and hybrids, because I really want to see them. Thanks so much for watching. I will include a link to uh, a playlist of other What Comes Next videos that I've done down in the description, as well as up on screen if you are watching on YouTube. Make sure to get outside and flow this weekend, and I will see you with a new video on Monday. Peace.